In this, the penultimate match in the Champions League group stage, Chelsea can secure a place in the last 16 with a win here against RB Salzburg. Before we start, of course, quickly get your comments in uh, with your prediction for this match whilst I carry on. In the previous fixture, Graham Potter's first match in charge, the Blues came away with a, war, uh, with a draw despite being a goal up whilst we dominated possession and had 17 shots on goal. We only managed four on target, while Salzburg, who had four shots on goal, managed three on target. An awful turnover rate for us. Um, that said, nine attempts before Raheem Sterling netted in the 47th minute. A poor attempted tackle and failed clearance from Thiago Silva saw him dispossessed and then a scuffed effort on goal dragged past Kepa in what was possibly the last poor goalkeeping we've seen from him. Since then, of course, still unbeaten under Potter and conceding only two goals in those seven games. It's remarkable, you know, the levels that some fans go to, that to them, a manager who is currently unbeaten in eight matches in charge and has conceded three goals in that time compared to the three wins, the one draw, the two losses in the seven games prior, not to mention the singular clean sheet in that period. Ten goals conceded, in seven games. But Potter's doing a bang average job, is he not? So far, and what an absolute bore he is. Not celebrating a scoring a penalty against Manchester United, a team we notoriously draw against. Well, there is still nine minutes left to play. Tuchel storming down the touchline against Spurs, uh, just for us to end up drawing. Ring a bell, anyone? No? It's a process. And this game will be a good indicator for those truly critical of a man who has shown nothing but good things so far with what he has at his disposal. Well, win tomorrow is necessary, especially with our record of two draws in a row. If we win tomorrow, it also takes some pressure away from the Zagreb game next week in an already overcrowded month of football. And for a manager like Potter, who loves rotation, a win would make the lineup next week an even easier process on him, especially given that we have Arsenal to come just days after. Make no mistake, this, is, this, this will be a tough match given the state of the group at this stage in the competition. Salzburg sitting second above a Milan side that will be furious with their last two results. Whilst the win for us may secure our place in the last 16. Milan are still fighting to keep their noses in with a chance of going through. So Salzburg needs to try to get a result here to prevent it going down to the last match, which is why it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one. With that said, I believe that based on our previous meeting and given that that was uh, uh, given that their goal was entirely uh, avoidable and now Potter has had time to get used to the squad, Likewise, them with him and to many again, I might dispute that, that we're in you know good hands at the moment or doing anything too different to when Tuchel was in charge. You can't deny, it. listen, what the hell? We, we, we haven't lost a game yet. It's in eight games. He's now played more games than Tuchel did in, in, in the beginning of the season. Not to compare the two, but people are comparing the two and, and already having gripes about Graham Potter and what he can provide. And where's the charisma? Where's the, where's the character? What's the difference in, in the style of play? Winning! Winning is the difference. We're winning now. And we're too cool, given the, the, the atmosphere and the issues that were going on uh, towards the end. It just wasn't meant to be. But now Graham Potter's here. We haven't lost. We've merely drawn, uh, you know, three games now. The last two have been draws as well. But, you know, if, if you're really, really upset in the fact that we've, you know, won games, drawn a few in the eight games, I, I don't know, you, you are incredibly entitled if, if, if you are truly Truly not impressed with the, how the way Graham Potter's carried himself. If you think he is boring and has no charisma, you clearly haven't watched any of his press conferences. But, oh God, he doesn't celebrate us going 1-0 up by a penalty in, a, in a, just a fucking poor game that was Manchester United. No one can win. Doesn't matter who's in charge. They're never going to win. No one's always going to be happy. 2-0 is my prediction to Chelsea. I think we restart our clean sheet run 
and further extend Graham Potter's unbeaten record with the club before heading to his former side on Saturday. With that said, that is about it. And whilst this is a short one, short, sweet, to the point, Thank you for watching. <laughs> Be sure to let me know your prediction. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. And you know it's always to do with the fact that you will be notified of any future content on the channel. As always, up the Chelsea and peace.